Okay, everybody, and here's the other heater that we have. Uh, you can see this one is a lot larger compared to the Lesco ones that we have. This one is a four element infrared quartz heater made by Geneva, it looks like. Very interesting. Um, you can see this one is definitely more, um, if you want to say, complex <laughs> than the other one. Um, definitely electronic control, as you can see, and has a remote over there. Uh, I'll go ahead and you can read what's on the box here. Some stuff on the bottom there. All right. And then on the side here. Kind of similar stuff overall, I guess. And like on the um, on the Lasco boxes, you can also have it in Spanish on the back and also on the other side as well. So this should definitely be interesting as to how, how this thing operates. All right, let's go ahead and take it out of the box. And here's the heater itself. You can see it's uh, definitely quite a decent uh, size. Um, here's, the, uh, here's the air outlet right here. Here's your display with the buttons, and so we'll get to those in a little bit. And uh, what is actually interesting is the, the, this casing of the heater is metal, so that's actually pre pretty cool. Um, Little notice on the top there. Yeah, so even though this is this is electronic control, it does have a main power switch on the back, which is probably not a bad thing because that part is mechanical. So go ahead and, and take a look around. You can see it's on the wheels, so it's, it's easy to, to move around. Doesn't really weigh all, doesn't really weigh all that much, but it's kind of nice that it gives you that mobility um, thing. Um, this is this this is a filter you can clean if you want. You can take out these four screws, take out this intake uh, grate, and clean that. Power cords right here. Um, maybe it's some kind of, don't quite know what that is, but that's interesting. Um, but whatever. And then, yeah, on the side here, not, nothing much different there. And back to the front. So, yeah, this will be, uh, we'll see how this goes when it uh, comes time to use it. You know, over here is the remote control. Um, has basically what you would expect for a remote, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, this takes two AAA batteries. I haven't put those in yet, but I will. And uh, one thing I can say about on the owner's manual is they do say kind of like um, with most things with batteries, um, if you're not going to use the heater for an extended period of time, they say to take the batteries out of here to prevent corrosion, which, you know, definitely doesn't make sense. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so uh, like last time, we're going to also use the watt meter here to see what this pulls when it's um, off, on, and in each mode. All right, so let's go ahead and get it connected and see what happens. I and mean, before I forget, guys, I forgot if I mentioned, um, there's that main power switch right there on the back here. You see that? Yeah, so it's currently on off. <clears throat> I don't know why they inverted with up being off, but whatever. Um, all right, so then, obviously, with the, uh, with the main power switch being off, it's not pulling anything. All right, so then let's go ahead and put this on and see what it pulls anything with the electronics on or whatever. All right, so it pulls about 0.8 watts with the power switch on and nothing else on, which makes sense because this is electronic control, so it's going to use something. All right, let's go ahead and let's see, turn this around. And there's dashes on the, oh, it's a green display. That's interesting. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so I guess what we could try doing is, um, this is the power right here, I guess. Let's go ahead and hit this and see what happens. So I think this is high. Yeah, I'm going to assume that's what that is. Now, I don't know if you guys heard that, but it sounds like the heater did two clicks when it turns on. It sounds like it went into low mode, then switched into high mode, which I'm sure we can probably test with the watt meter um, later on. But, oh wow, yeah, if you look at the uh, front there, it's definitely uh, lighting up. Now I'm going, now I, I had hit, okay, I hit this button right here, and if you look, if you can see that. Yeah, so that's currently in high mode. And I'm going to assume this is the temperature that it wants to reach. Hey, you can do Celsius and Fahrenheit. Okay, so it's on if it's in Fahrenheit, and if it's, oh, okay, Celsius is over there. And it goes over there, it's in Celsius. That's interesting. Okay, so it gives you both options. Now, um, 
Let me stop it for a moment. Oh, look at that, it has like a cooldown timer on it. That, that's interesting. Hopefully I'm, not, hopefully I'm not jumping too many steps here for you guys. I just want to, um, I just want to see what the watt meter does in between um, each thing. As you can see here with the fan, with just the fan going, that's about what the other heater pulls, about 17 watts with just the fan. And it just stops. All right. <clears throat> All right, so, so that was pretty cool. All right, so, so what I'll do now is um, let's go ahead and turn this back on. And we'll go ahead and we'll watch the, uh, we'll see what the watt meter does. Maybe you can hear the clicks accordingly. So we'll go back to it. And let's hit that button again. Yeah, you see that? How like there were, there were those uh, two clicks and how the watt meter changed accordingly. So that, that, that's pretty cool. Yeah, this most likely is high mode right now. And you can see here the uh, thing starts glowing up again. I don't quite know where the elements are, but I'm going to assume they're located kind of in the bottom. And then this, this surface is just reflecting the, uh, the uh, light back to you. So I think that's why it's um, looking the way it is. So, I'm so this is probably the temperature, right? Because this says eco here, does this? Okay, is that the, maybe that's the highest? I'm not sure. Let's look into that. So, um, eh, not, not too bad. Let's see if I go to low. Yeah, there's, there's like a little delay between clicks, and maybe you can hear that. Doesn't look like it changed all that much. Maybe it got a little bit dimmer. But if you go to the watt meter, yes, this, this is what it pulls when it's um, on low. Well, I have to say, it definitely uses a lot less electricity than, than the Lasco heater does. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely less. Um, all right, so what we do now is let's go ahead and let's get the uh, thermometer again. And we'll see what's coming out of here on low. Let's see, 90... Had it for a second there. Yeah, 140, okay. Is it going to go right into the things there? It's kind of hard. But 306, geez. Uh, maybe, maybe that's just the surface temperature instead of what's coming out. But yeah, you saw that. Yeah, that looks about what's coming out. But yeah, 3 oh, wow, that must have really caught something. Alrighty. So yeah, so that's, um, that's low. So we'll go ahead and put it back to high. See if the glowing changes accordingly. Oh, jeez. There we go. Maybe, maybe if you hit that twice or something to make it go to uh, high. The amount of heat coming out isn't all that strong, but maybe it still has to warm back up. You know, let's go ahead and give this a minute just to um, fully get warmed back up for high. All right, guys, so I figured it out. Uh, the, the, the way it works is this is your actual mode button right here. And if you want to change the heating mode, you've got to hit this button here. This is just going to do the power. And um, so it's, it's, it's a little confusing in the sense what if, like, if you want to go back to high, you think, oh, I just hit high here. But no, if you hit that button once, it turns it off and goes in the cooldown mode. So you just got to figure out um, what it says on the bottom and it should go accordingly. And I did check, 86 is the highest it will go. If you see, I can go down. But yeah, 86 is the highest, so... Interesting number to choose, but I guess it does okay. The amount, the, the amount of heat coming out isn't all that bad. Um, it definitely has um, stronger airflow than the Lasco heater does. Uh, but let's go ahead and, um, here, we'll see where it's settled at first. All right. And now let's go ahead and check the uh, temperatures once again. See how crazy the, this one does. So we have... Let's see... And this is gonna be kind of hard to measure. It's probably catching some of the metal inside there. Yeah, 197 sounds about right for the uh, outs for the air coming out. Well, if it, no, that that would burn your hand. What am I saying? It, 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 it um it definitely um seems to measure some of the inside temperatures properly. Yeah, like 231. Yeah, so it, 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 it's very. Oh, you know what? Let's try it like this way. Here we go. Well, 420, wow, 497, okay, yeah, it, 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 that's getting the metal now. Wow, look at that, that's the metal inside, jeez. <laughs> so 
So if I try to go a little bit more indirectly, yeah, I guess that, that's about what we're getting. <laughs> but yeah, you can see what the inside temperature of this thing certainly gets to. Um, so yeah, this will this this heater will definitely warm up a room. I mean, because I'm standing at the end of that work mat, like I mentioned last time, and I'm, I'm definitely feeling the air a lot more now on this heater compared to the Lasco one. All right, so one thing we can do is um, we do have this eco mode here. So I'm very curious to see what that does accordingly. So let's go ahead and we'll switch it to that. Oop. And nothing happened. Okay, <laughs> maybe 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 it's like some kind of um, temperature adjustment thing it does. It's in cycles or something, or maybe the fan goes off when it reaches temperature or something. I'm not totally sure. Maybe I have to look into the owner's manual about that. All right, so um, I guess for now what we'll do is uh, let me do, let, let me take a look through the look through the owner's manual, see if I can find out some other stuff about it. All right, guys, I just looked at it. What it says is, um, eco is actually, what Eco does is it says the unit consumes half power when the room reaches the temperature, but this is the basement, and obviously th this is not going to reach that temperature, so um, th that's just what it does. There's really no way to show that. What I, what I can do, though, too, is maybe I'll show you what the um, these temperatures are. Just a little warm, but nothing like, you know, too serious or anything. Um, I'll go ahead and show that to you. Interesting that it says one, it doesn't feel that warm, but I mean, I guess that's just what the thermometer is telling us. Yeah, 84, so not all that bad. All right, one thing I guess we'll do now is um, let's try the uh, remote, see if it changes things accordingly. So here, we'll start with the Fahrenheit Celsius button. Well, that's not bad, I will say, it, the, the very instant you push the button, it responds like immediately, so I will give it that. Um, you can change the mode with this. It just went into low mode. Here you can see it got a little bit darker. There's eco, and then back to high. Yeah, that is definitely cool how that works. And there is the a timer function, as you can see. Um, so I think what we need to do is, um, I think the owner's manual said to use the timer we need to have the heater off first. Well, let's see what happens if we, if we heat the, hit the timer button while it's on. Okay, I think that's number of hours or something. Let's see. Well, this is, in, this, is this responds instantly. I will give credit where credit is due. This is very responsive. Okay, I guess zero means it's off. So there was, uh, what was that? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I guess 12 hours. That would, that would make sense. Uh, yeah, this is, um... Yeah, okay, it goes back to the temperature display. So, you know, let's go ahead and um, let this cool down and see what the temperatures are once it turns off. Then we can see what the heater, what, sorry, what the timer function does. Oh, inter interesting. This is going for 60 seconds now. Maybe because it, maybe because it senses temperature, or maybe because it, um, it knew it was on high or something. That's pretty interesting. All right, there we go. And just for the heck of it, let's see what the uh, temperatures are inside now. No, it's still in the hundred. Hopefully you can read that, sorry. Yeah, still kind of in the hundreds, but um, a lot cooler than it was. And that temperature's not really anything to worry about. You can see the temperature's going down still. So um, all things considered, I'd say... Um, you know, this heater really isn't all that bad. It is electronic control, yes, and it's in, it's, it could be in a warm environment or a hot environment, so, you know, I don't quite know exactly how that's going to come into play later on. But I guess one last thing, but I will say this, the heat output's pretty good. It does seem to cover a nice amount of area, which is good for, like, larger rooms. Um, I guess one, uh, one last thing we can do is let me go ahead and look at the owner's manual again, see if I can figure out the timer function. Then after that, maybe we'll do just one more quick operation, and we'll call it a video there. All right, guys, so, so from what I can understand, um, you, ha you set the timer while the heater's off, and then those hour increments, it's what it's going to count down until it turns itself on. So basically, if I hit, ti if I hit the timer button right now, this means in one hour it's going to turn itself on, then, you know, two, three accordingly. So we'll let that stop right there and see what happens.
okay, yeah. So no, no, nothing came on. You see, yeah, so basically what it's doing is, and you can see the timer light is on now, um, basically its internal clock is going to count down three hours from, the, from what you just set. And then once it turns on, I'm well, sorry, once it, once it goes down to three hours, it's going to turn itself on. And as you can see here, there's the, um, it's going to go to high, um, high heat and then come on. Now, to be completely honest with you, I don't quite know if this is such a good idea because one of the worst things you can do in any situation is leave a heater, a space heater running unattended because that's, that's uh, you know, something could fall, something could get in front of it or, you know, whatever. And, you know, space heaters can cause lots of house fires. So this timer option, while it might seem kind of cool, I don't know if I'd use it, to be honest with you. I don't quite think it's the best thing to have because, I mean, it takes mere seconds for you to just, you know, um, turn the heater on and get it going. Now, some of you may think, you know, well, the heater will be on by the time I get home from something. Now, it's still a bad idea. I really don't think I would do that. I would just come home, put the heater on just so it's, it's there, and it's a much safer manner so it's on while someone's actually in the house. You know what I'm saying? And I think if you want to cancel it, you just hit it again. Oh, no, that just did the temperature. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Whoops. <laughs> I will let that... Um... Yeah, see what I mean? It's kind of confusing at first. But you got to realize the bottom is what the button's functions are. If you hold it down, will it cancel? No. It's like, I guess you, you, you just, just got to keep hitting it until it goes back to zero. Yeah, like that. <clears throat> so, you know, not the... Um... Yeah, but then everything just went out. Not, not the hardest of things to do, but, you know, just some things are kind of uh, unnecessary, I feel. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and this time we'll turn the heater on with the remote. Why not? Let's see how that works. The power is right here. And yeah, I, 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 I will say the, um, this, this thing does respond immediately to the buttons on the remote, so I will give it credit for that, definitely. I'm sure some of you want to see the thing glow back up, and it should. Yep, there it goes. So, like I said, um, it does seem to be it does seem to be good in the sense of the amount of heat it puts out, the amount of space it covers. Uh, but like you know, again, um, you know how I you know how I feel about electronic controls these days. So, hopefully, being in an environment like this, it's not going to be the biggest of problems. But you know, time will tell. You know how modern electronics are these days. But just but I will say for its use, it does a good job. Just you know, reliability is up in the air. I guess you could say. All right, so we'll let this go ahead and we'll let it um, fully warm back up. And then once it does, we'll go ahead and use the remote again to um, turn it back off and let it go into cool demo mode. And maybe just just in case you guys want to, I won't edit out that part of the video. All right, so now it should be fully warmed up and running. So now what we'll do is we'll let it go ahead and cool down again using the remote. It is pretty cool how after, um, after you hit it, you hear that extra click and that's the uh, elements turning off. And there it goes. And I guess what we'll do just as a final step is um, we'll go back to the watt meter. I'll hit that main power switch in the back. And drops down to zero. <laughs> All right, guys, so there you go. There is the Geneva space heater. Um, for, for the job that it does, it does a good job. I will give it that. But, you know, like with all space heaters, you should never leave them unattended. And, you know, um, if you have one of these for an extended period of time, hopefully the electronics don't give you problems. We, you know, certainly see how that goes. But overall, not a bad product. We'll definitely heat a room, I think. And hopefully if you have one, it does well for you. Thank you very much for watching, and take care.